Hello, it's Victoria from Trisys here to help you with the setup and installation of Tapid Nova. Before installation begins, please disable all antivirus and other security, like firewalls or endpoint protection software, that you may have running on your PC. They can be re-enabled after installation is complete. This installation may require one or more system reboots, so please save and quit any of the programs you have running on your PC. Also, try and avoid installing Tapit Nova on domain controllers or any other servers already running resource-intensive applications. The minimum requirements for a Tapit Nova computer are an Intel Core 2 Duo processor or AMD equivalent, 2 GB of RAM or 3 GB if your computer runs Windows 7 or Windows 2008, 80 GB of free space on the C drive, Microsoft Internet Explorer 7, monitor resolution access, a DVD drive, an RS-232 port if it is required for PBX interface, and Microsoft Windows XP Pro SP3, Windows 2003 32-bit, Windows 7 or 7 Pro, or Windows 2008 R2. Please note that Windows 2003 64-bit is not supported and that a Windows 2003 or 2008 server is required for 10 or more concurrent users. For users with Windows XP or Windows 2003, you'll need to install IIS. For Windows XP, installing IIS may require a Windows CD. Install MS.NET Framework 3.5 SP1 which is available for download from update.microsoft.com and install Windows PowerShell 1.0 which is available from update.microsoft.com The first step in this process is to disable the user account control. To do this you will have to open the control panel window and click on user accounts and family settings. Once this page opens, click on the user account section. After that, click on the user account control settings. A page with a slide bar will come up. You will need to slide the bar all the way to the bottom of the scale. After you slide the bar down, you will need to restart your computer. Next, return to the main control panel page and from here click on programs. Under program features, there will be a blue link that says turn window features on and off. Click on that and a smaller window with the same header will pop up. Click on the box labeled Internet Information Services to expand it. When it expands, click Web Management Tools and then underneath that IIS 6 Management Compatibility will come up. Check all the options that are available. Select IIS Management Scripts and Tools and IIS Management Services box too. Next click on World Wide Web Service and then Application Development Features. Then click on all the boxes, excluding the CGI box. After that, click on Common HTTP Features, then click on Common HTTP Features and click Web Dev Publishing. After that, expand the Security section and click Basic Authentication and Windows Authentication. Up next is Microsoft.NET Frameworks 3.5.1. Expand and check both boxes and then click OK. Next, open the Tapit Nova DVD and install Adobe Reader. After that finishes, click on Install Prerequisites in the DVD to install SQL Server. This part is necessary even if you already have another version of SQL Server on your computer, because this version has been customized for Tapit Nova's needs. The Install Shield wizard will come up and you will need to follow its prompts, including accepting the terms of the license agreement. This installation may take up to 30 minutes to complete, so be prepared to wait a bit. I'm going to fast forward the process here so we can move on to the next step. After the installation is complete, your computer will need to be rebooted. After you log in again, the installer window should be the first thing that comes up. If it is not, then you will need to manually restart the installer. You will need to accept the licensing agreement a second time. Click Next a few more times as your computer sets up the program. After this, you should be done and are now ready to install Tapit Nova itself. 
When installing Tappet Nova, open the C drive to bring up the Tappet Nova DVD, and this time press Install Tappet Nova. This will again open up the Install Shield wizard to begin the Nova installation. At this point, you should enter your serial number. If you do not, Nova will run as a 30-day demo, and you will be able to input a serial number at any time. Click Next until you get a button that says Install, and then click That to begin. After the installation is done, a prompt will come up asking if you want to run the Nova Updater. We strongly recommend that you do this because it will make sure that the version of Nova that you are running is completely up to date and that some potential issues are patched. This might take a moment to complete. After it finishes, you will be prompted to insert your local phone number for SMDR services. If you do not want this service, just click No. You can also click No for now and return to it later. Also, you can install optional software for extra services such as the IP collector and the CDR loader. Now you can open Tap Nova. Once you've logged in, you can specify whether this account is attached to your main location, what your phone number is, and set up email messages to yourself. Also, if you want to use the email features of the software, you will need to obtain your company's SMTP configuration information from your network administrator. You can opt out of this function if you wish and enable it later at any point. You can also specify if you are a first-time user or if you are upgrading an older program during this segment. Then you can press Finish and you will be led to the home page. Congratulations! You've finished your Tap Nova installation!